Song of Myself, Section 26 Read by Alan Davis Drake Now I will do nothing but listen To accrue what I hear into this song To let sounds contribute towards it I hear bravuras of birds, bustle of growing wheat, gossip of flames, clack of sticks cooking my meals. I hear the sound I love, the sound of the human voice. I hear the sounds running together, combined, fused, or following. Sounds of the city and sounds out of the city, sounds of the day and night, talkative young ones to those that like them the loud laugh of workpeople at their meals, the angry bass of disjointed friendship, the faint tones of the sick, the judge with hands tight on the desk, his pallid lips pronouncing a death sentence, the hevio stevedores unlading ships by the wharves, the refrain of the anchor lifters, the ring of alarm bells, the cry of fire, the whirr of swift streaking engines and horse carts with promontory tinkles and colored lights, the steam whistle, the solid roll of the train of approaching cars, the slow march played at the head of the association, marching two and two. They go to guard some corpse, the flag tops are draped with black muslin. I hear the violin cello, tis a young man's heart's complaint. I hear the keyed cornet, it glides quickly in through my ears, it shakes mad sweet pangs through my belly and breast. I hear the chorus, it is a grand opera, ah, this indeed is music, this suits me. A tenor large and fresh as the creation fills me, the orbic flex of his mouth is pouring and filling me full. I hear the trained soprano. What work with hers is this? The orchestra whirs me, wider than Uranus flies. It wretches such ardors from me I did not know I possess them. It sails me. I dab with bare feet. They are licked by the indolent waves. I am cut by bitter and angry hail. I lose my breath. Steeped amid honeyed morphine, my windpipe throttles in fakes of death. At length led up again to feel the puzzle of puzzles, and that we call being. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.